that transition there, I, I just Googled her name the other day just to see was there anything I missed. And I saw a story from Groad Hegarty about being in the gym and it was one of his first times with you. And he said that you were benching, I think it was 25 reps for three quarters of your body weight. And, and he said that he was nowhere near it. And it was just an eye opening that how difficult is it to go from under 20s as it is now into a senior setup? Yeah, like it's it's very very difficult. Like um, you're, you're going into a senior setup, you're you're coming up against lads that have maybe four, five, six years of county experience under their belt, and four, five, six years of S and C conditioning under their belt. You know, so they're going to be a, an awful lot further down the track um, in comparison to an under twenty um, lad coming into the squad for his first time, um, and that's not easy. Like you 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 don't get into that um, you don't get into that team straight away um, unless you're exceptional, obviously. Um, but like by and large, those lads have to kind of they bide their time and put in the work, put in the S and C work, and and be ready, be physically ready then to be able to compete at at, at senior level. And would you open Shegarty now, seeing as what he's done since then? No, I think I, I think the roles have been reversed now somehow. <laughs> and just talking about Garod, and there's obviously the, the likes of William Dunne who have represented Limerick underage. Is there a small what if? You know that if those lads had stuck with the big ball, and obviously it's very difficult for you know a senior hurling and senior football team to go as it is, and Limerick are on the crest of wave in hurling. But is there a small tinge of I wonder if them lads had stayed with the football? Ah, yeah, sure. Look, and like you can't, um, you can't but think that. Like you know, um, I think back to the Munster final last year um, in Killarney, and you'd be thinking, what if, what if we had Garrod? What if we had? A couple of more with a couple of more with him, you know, would it have made a difference? Um, and it, it, I suppose it's on occasions like that that you'd always think that if you had one or two more, if you had one or two extra, would it make the difference on the day? Um, but yeah, of course you do. Of course, you, of course, you'd love to have the the best players um, available to you going out on any given day. Um, but that's just just a, that's just the way 